dear students in this class i will explain how to construct a confidence interval for population standard deviation how to obtain a confidence interval for a population standard deviation the procedure is known as chi square interval procedure for a population standard deviation chi square interval procedure for a population standard deviation it is based on two assumptions one is simple random samples the second is normal population population from which sample is taken is assumed to be normal now <coughs> Let us see what are the steps in the construction of a confidence interval for one population standard deviation. The first step is for a confidence level of 1 minus alpha. For a confidence level of 1 minus alpha, from the table find out chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 and chi square alpha by 2 chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 and chi square alpha by 2 with the degrees of freedom is equal to n minus 1 degrees of freedom equal to n minus 1 then the confidence interval for sigma is from root of n minus 1 by chi square alpha by 2 into s to root of n minus 1 by chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 into s this chi square alpha by 2 and chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 are obtained from the sample. n is sample size, s is computed from the sample. Now, before explaining how these confidence intervals are actually reached, let us consider an example. Suppose that we construct a confidence interval of 90%. 90% that is alpha is equal to 0 0.100, 0. n is equal to 10, degrees of freedom is equal to 9. Then chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 is equal to 1 minus alpha by 2 is, is equal to chi square 1 minus alpha by 2 is equal to 0.95. The value is 3.325, 3.325. Then chi square alpha by 2 is equal to chi square 0 0.05 is equal to 16.196. These chi square values are as we have stated earlier 3.325. And 16.196. 95% of chi square lie in this interval. 5% here, 5% here. Now, using these chi square values, chi square alpha by 2, 1 minus alpha by 2, and substituting n minus 1 and yes, yes in our example is 1 point. 0, 5, 5. Substituting you will get 0 0.772, 1.74, 1.74. This is the 90% confidence interval for the population standard deviation, 1.055. That is the actual value obtained is 1.055 for the cynical example. And uh, we are sure that 
95 percent lie between 0.7 or we are 95 percent confident that the population standard deviation lie between these two intervals. Means if you construct the such, such intervals in a repeated number of times, then 95 out of 100 times such intervals will include the true but unknown population standard deviation. This is the 95 percent confidence interval for population standard deviation. Let me explain how we obtain this a little more mathematically. Mathematically. To explain this, I consider what is known as uh, 95 percent confidence interval and chi square the value 0 0.975 less than or equal to chi square less than or equal to chi square 0 0.025 and substituting chi square 0 0.975 less than or equal to n minus 1 into s square by sigma square between chi square 0.25. That is the 95 percent of chi square lie between these two intervals from the property of chi square distribution. Now we make a few algebraic manipulations. Chi square 0.975 is less than or equal to n minus 1 into s square by sigma square. To follow that sigma square into chi square 0.975 is n minus 1 into s square this into this. So that sigma square is equal to so less than or equal to n minus 1 into s square by chi square 0.975. A similar manipulation will give you n minus 1 into s square by chi square 0 0.205 sigma square. So, what is sigma square is between n minus 1 into s square by chi square 0.975 and n minus 1 into s square by chi square 0 0.025. This is the 95 percent confidence interval for population variance sigma square and to compare this formula with this. If you take a root it becomes sigma, sigma and the root of this quantities is given. That is the 95 percent confidence interval for sigma square. If you take a root of this square root of these quantities you will get 95 percent confidence interval for standard deviation. 95 percent confidence interval for standard deviation. Remember this, this is from the, uh, the property of chi square variable. The construction of confidence interval uh, by using Z using the same procedure was discussed in an earlier class. Here also the same procedure. Here it is stated in terms of variance, but can be converted into standard deviation by taking the roots. So, consider one more example. Suppose that n is 20. S square is 0 0.0025, degrees of freedom is 19, chi square 0 0.975 is equal to 8.907, chi square 0 0.025 is equal to 32.825. Substituting all these values in the formula, you will get 0 0.0014 less than or equal to sigma square less than or equal to 0 
5 3 and if you take the root you will get it as 0 0.038 less than or equal to sigma 0 0.073. 95% confidence interval for standard deviation, 95% confidence interval for variance. That is it. This is the procedure for constructing confidence interval for a one population standard deviation or one population variance. And remember this, this procedure typically depends on normality assumption. And the statisticians generally say that if you have any doubt about normality assumption, this procedure should not be adopted for hypothesis testing and also for confidence interval construction.